what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Remember, remember the 9th of November because we are just a couple of days away from Death Valley and a battle to the death. Um, I am getting, and what an appropriate setting for said battle. I am starting to really feel it, guys, and it's because I've been ruminating on this Alabama game and the stakes therein. Do you know how rare it is to be presented with an opportunity to land the death blow on your arch enemy? I mean, especially when you're talking about this Alabama team that, I mean, what, this is only the the first time since 2007 they've had two losses before November? You don't get this chance very often. You have a legitimate opportunity to send the people you hate the most into a tailspin, a mental tailspin as you are the ones that show them with undeniable objective evidence that their time is done. And that's probably true. But as long as they still have the playoffs lingering in the distance, they still have that most powerful of drugs. They still have hope. And this is your opportunity to crush said hope, to take it from them while also putting yourself over the top. Let's freaking go, dude. Uh, we got a lot to get to on today's show. Uh, am I right or am I looking at an old thumbnail where, um, okay, no, no. We are teasing Saints injury report in the title of the YouTube video when we have multiple basketball games that were played last night. We have the most massive game in Death Valley history coming up. Not really history, but, you know, a massive one coming up on Saturday. And we have Saints injury report. Taylor, explain yourself. Uh, well, LSU Alabama is also in that thumbnail. I know. It's football explain season. yourself. It's football season, T-Bob. A Saints <laughs> headline, an LSU headline. It's pretty standard. <laughs> Please tell me. Tell, what, tell me right now. What is interesting about the Saints injury report? Oh, well, a lot. So, uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's early. Kool Aid. <laughs> oh, well, a lot oh, as he trips out of the starting. Game. I saw a video of like a um, like a BMX racer, you know, like somebody who races bicycles and they're getting ready to go. You know how it beeps and the ramp drops? I saw a video the other day where somebody goes, Beep, oh, and then I he like, yeah, that. and then he like oh launches himself and face plants. That was your beginning just now. There's a lot interesting. Uh, what's his name? Kool-Aid the, uh, McKinstry. Yeah, Kool-Aid McKinstry. Has not practiced all week. You've traded Marshawn Lattimore. You have a vacancy at outside corner. Now you can move Alante Taylor, but he's been so good in the nickel uh, blitzing off the edge. That changes everything for your defense. Uh, none of it matters either. Um, uh, you asked. Uh, I did ask. I did ask. At least you were ready to go despite the early uh, despite the early slip up. Uh, Jake, what's up, dude? How are we feeling today? <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just like you. I'm, I'm looking forward to being uh, in the stadium on Saturday. Uh, I don't have any other shows. I, I don't have anything else but, you know, LSU, Bama on that day. So oh, yeah. going to go go out early, going to tailgate a little bit with the family. The entire family is going to go to the game. Uh, just fired up for, you know, the event of a big-time matchup in Death Valley. You only get so many. Like, you only, only get, get so, so many. many. And sometimes, like, the you know, there's years where you don't even really get one. Yep. And this True. is going to be two maybe could turn into three if Vanderbilt keeps winning, but certainly going to be two after what happened against Ole Miss. And so I'm just like you, man. Just get super excited to have that opportunity because we know what that place can be like when it's turned up to an 11, and that's what it's going to be on Saturday. Uh, and make no mistake, uh, if you're not – because I we, we talked about this on Scone and T. We recorded – I don't know if it's out yet, but we recorded yesterday. Um, and – Let's go around the room. Are y'all feeling the same energy that you felt Ole Miss week? I don't know if I'm the best judge. I was out Monday. I came back to it late. Been, you know, recovering from everything. But, like, I I don't know. And, and I'm finally – I was not feeling up to this point. I finally started feeling about last night. 
But but around the city, the town, are y'all feeling that same intensity as Alondra yawns there uh, behind the glass? Are y'all feeling the same intensity <laughs> that the city had all Miss Week? Believe it or not, I'm not. I'm uh, not just either. Just because, you know, you lose game one, everyone's down and out about it, but you go on the road, you're down 17 to South Carolina, you get your first SEC win, you come home for your first SEC home game, and you're like, hey, if you could turn this around and win this game, like your whole season turns around. Like that, That's what I was most excited about. I think like leading into the game, there was just more juice. And Okay, so I, I, think I, I think I kind of agree, and I want to call it out because if that's how we're feeling, uh, we got to fake it till we make it, guys, because make no mistake, this is objectively a way bigger game and a way bigger stage. Now, I tried to paint that first game as an elimination game, even acknowledging that mathematically it's not, but if you don't win, well, you likely, you know, your margin of error becomes zero. Um, and and to, be, to be fair, that's the reason why Ole Miss is in a do-or-die situation hosting Georgia this weekend because you ended up winning that game. Um, and you allowed yourself more margin of error so you could lose at A&M, and now you still control your own destiny. But this is way bigger yeah. than that Ole Miss game. This is a chance to knock out, again, knock out the team that has caused you so much pain over the last 15 years. The team that stole your national championship, best coach of all time, and made it theirs. The team that was really your roadblock to a couple more championships. I mean, directly in 2011, taking what would have been a fourth or fifth national championship. Fourth, right? From LSU? Or no, do we up to four now? No, we're up to four. We're up to four now. That would have been You'd have five yeah. natties, if not for Alabama, in 2011. And that's not even getting into years like 2012, where that T.J. Yeldon screen holds you back from going to the SEC championship. I mean, this is a team that has caused you pain and denied you championships time and time again, and now you have the opportunity to do it to them. So if you're not feeling it, respectfully, not up, go to your Goodwood, whatever you got to do, and get Ready for Saturday, okay? Because this is massive. The opportunity for immortality to gain a shred of it is here. Make a play in this game and you will be remembered forever. Let's go. It's time to make... Alabama's insecure right now. They think they're getting fat. They're looking in the mirror. The workouts aren't working, whatever. It's time to go full mean girls on them, okay? We need to feed him high-calorie Swedish chocolate bars and tell them they're fitness foods and then make fun of them for getting fatter. This is our chance to reinforce all of their insecurities, to prove to them that they are human again, that their God, Nick Saban, is gone. And he's been replaced by Kalen DeBoer, who's good, but not God, okay? So let's go, nut up, lock in, and get ready to eliminate your opponent Come Saturday night, dude. I do think all that will happen. It maybe the pre-game, like through the week buzz, isn't the same. And like I, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because is there like Bama fatigue? Is it like every single year you got to get up for this game and it hasn't gone your way more times than not? Um, was it Ole Miss beating you uh, in kind of a historic game in Oxford last year? Is it Lane Kiffin? Something about his face? Like you know, wh- like what is it? I don't know. But I agree, there hasn't been that same buzz around town all week, but it doesn't mean that Tiger Stadium's not going to be completely sold out. It's going to be turned up, like I said earlier. So I'm not worried about actual game day, but the lead into the game, I, I'll agree there. Like, it hasn't quite been the same. Well, that's fine, because we're going to change the narrative. And you're going to walk around, and if you see one of your uh, office mates moping around like Taylor, just give him a swift punch to the gut. And tell them to wake up, okay? Because it's time. Everybody's got to be on tens this weekend. You know why? We'll talk about it. Coming up, the recruits that are going to be there. You want to put your best foot forward in every single way, and let's all come together to create a night of magic and majesty and victory and one that we will remember for a long, long time. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.